All right, so as you can see, down inside of my cowl, it's a little bit rusty down in there, but we'll get it all cleaned up. All right, guys, here we go. Shaggy's Car Shop. On tonight's episode, we're going to be doing a little bit of work inside the cowl, trying to clean that up. I'll show you what it looks like in, in a minute. Um, I got these areas cleaned up, but I don't have any rust converter in a spray can, so I'm going to have to go look for that, but they're cleaned up as of right now. Um, up in the cowl, I'm going to need some rust converter for up in there. Just for out on these edges where I can't get at fairly decent spray a little rust converter and some primer over that so it stops anything from happening further all right without any further ado let's get to the video Bear with me once this air, air compressor starts up. <laughs>
All right, folks, uh, now that my air compressor shut off, so my wire wheel idea on the end of a, on the end of a um, air tool did not work. I can't get in there. So I switched over to a Scotch-Brite pad. Basically, all I'm trying to do is knock off anything that's loose or rough, smooth it out a little bit, just until I can get some of that rust converter and spray that up in here to stop it from rusting any further. It sat outside for so long it does have a little bit of surface rust in here. But I'm knocking it off with this so then I'll move down into the actual ends of the cowl a little bit. So that might be inside. Well on the passenger side I can get in there pretty good through the blower fan hole. But Driver side, you're gonna have to go up and kind of use your arm in an angle it wasn't made to be bent. All just to get this cleaned up a little bit. And watch yourself, there are some sharp spots. I got myself right there in the hand, but that's all right. And again, this ain't going to be perfect. All I'm trying to do is knock off any loose stuff. All right, folks, I sprayed down the whole inside of my cowl with some of this rust fix stuff. I don't know if it's actually gonna work or if it'll actually convert the rust, but I figure it'll put a good coating on it and then I'm gonna prime over it and then I'm just gonna do a uh, matte black in this area just so it holds off any of the water because I know some water will get in here. Um, coming up on some of the next videos I mentioned before, we're going to be seam sealing my firewall and then I'm going to put a little uh, body filler on here, try and smooth it out a little bit and sand that down and then we're going to t paint this front part of the firewall and then we'll get back to the underneath side and working on that I'm going to put a raptor liner on the whole underside and I want to bring you guys along for that. So we'll catch you in the next video. Thanks for watching Shaggy's Car Shop and we'll see you next time. Thank you.